Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to finally, after all these years, uh, make your own build for RetroArch. Uh, this is for the developer, Autotray, since he wanted to know how it's done. So, those of you um, who want to build RetroArch, this is for you. <laughs> Open your browser, type in vi Visual studio okay click the link go down to here and go to community there you go click open file go to yes all right when it's done just hit continue let it install. Okay, now it's downloading. I'll install. Now this is just for the installer. This isn't Visual Studio completely. That requires some setup. Okay, when you're here, scroll down go to where it says universal windows platform development click this okay now what i like to do is just go to install see install while downloading just hit install uh see when you install either retroarch or psp when you build it i mean um it might ask you for one of these sdks but uh I'm not specifically sure what RetroArch needs, so we'll figure that out after. And then maybe uh, once you guys see in the video, you can just click this and hit install instead of waiting through everything. But I'm just going to hit install anyways. So, not now. All right, now this is going to take some time because of my internet. So I will be right back when it is done. Alright, after it's done, it'll launch up the actual program. It's right here. Oh, there it is. Alright, now what you want to do is go to continue without code. Now, with Visual Studio, you usually have to log in. I'm already logged in, so I don't think I can show you that, but. Just make sure you're logged in with your Microsoft account. And it goes here. Um, I'm going to close out of this for now. Close out of this. Don't need this at the moment. All right, go to your browser. Now go to GitHub for RetroArch. Right here. Link will be in the in the description. All right. Now what you want to do is you go up here and click code. Go down to download zip and wait for that to download. It's not massive. All right, once it's done, go to open folder or, you know, go to, go to your file explorer or whatever and right click. Since I'm on Windows 11, I could go to extract all, but I, I like to go to show more options and extract here. All right, wait until that's done. All right, once that's done. Go up to RetroArch Master, 
go to PKG, go to MSVC UWP, and in this tutorial I'm going to use 2017, but you can use 2019. The only difference is I have to retarget it. So go to cores, go down to X64 and hit that big fat delete button. Or right click and go to delete. Okay. Now go I'm gonna go back and grab this folder right here. This is X64. This is where all the DLLs that we use are. Okay, not the cores, DLLs. This is where the cores are. Now, if you want this package, um, this package is going to have to be separately uploaded. So, link is in the description. Or, you can open up an old RetroArch with 7-zip um, that I built and extract it there. And you can find everything you need in it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to copy. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to paste it in here. All right. After that's done, I'm going to go back. Back again. Go down to 2017 and hit enter. Um, it's going to ask you this. Make sure it's Visual Studio 2019 and not Selector. I'm going to put always. It's going to do its thing. See, and now it's going to say individual components you need a C++ version 142 to install go to install go to yes Alright, once it's done, I am going to do one more step before we start building. You don't have to do this, but follow along if you want to know. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to close out of this. Okay. I'm going to go up here and let you know that uh, the cores that I grabbed are tested. They've been tested for years. And the reason why some cores aren't included is because some don't work because they need OpenGL and Xbox doesn't support it, etc, etc. So it only comes with the cores that work. But anyways, if you want to get an updated core because the one included is outdated or whatever, we try to maintain it as much as we can and revert it when it breaks. But anyways, I digress. Type in buildbot.libretro.com slash nightly and hit enter. Then go down to Windows, go to X64, go to Latest. Okay. Uh, in this, I'm going to, the reason why I'm here, uh, other than telling you guys about it, is I'm going to update the PS2 core. Just because this build is going to be public uh, on Patreon after this. Extract this. Okay. Okay. PS2, grab this. I'm going to cut it. Go down to RetroArch, PKG, MS, VCP, uh, RetroArch 20, er, yeah, MS, VC 2017, cores, X64, cores, and paste it in there. Replace. Okay. Now I'm going to go back, back, back. Back. And I'm going to go to 2017 again because that's where our cores are. It's not under 2019, so we'll not build with those cores if you choose a different version. Okay, now, now that we're here, we're almost ready. The first thing you want to do is come up here and change debug to release angle. 
Angle is for N64 and Dreamcast support on your uh, Xbox One. So we choose Angle. Alright. The non version will not support um, Angle support, obviously. Alright, then come up here and go to X64 because Xbox One only supports 64 um, bit. Okay? Go over here and right click. Now you don't have to do this if you're using uh, 2019, but since I'm using 2017, I have to retarget, go to here, and go to 15063 and hit OK. Alright, once that's done, go to Project, go to Publish, go to Create App Packages, make sure it's on side loading and that's off, hit Next. Go to remove, go to create. You can type in whatever you name, whatever name you want here, and uh, leave all this blank unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> but anyways, this is what works. Uh, type in your name or whatever and hit OK. Go to yes. Go to trust. A thing will pop up uh, asking you do you want this app to allow changes. Go to yes go to OK now see it's registered under my name until 22 go to next I untick these I, I don't think it really matters all too much but I untick all of these because Xbox only supports x64 alright make sure this is always and then up here I change it to 198 because that's what it is this is what determines uh, if the app has an update or not. I change this number, and if it's the same number, um, you can't update. You have to uninstall the program and install the update if it's a build 2 or build 3 or build 4 or whatever. So 198 and hit create. Okay. And down here, you can read all about it. It's, this is going to take a bit. But you build all of this here. You can tell it's doing something down here with this icon. So let's sit through this and uh, I'll be back. See on the bottom left it says succeeded for everything. Okay. So at the output location, you can click this link and it'll bring up uh, File Explorer. But since I'm on Windows 11, uh, File Explorer seems to like mess up with with clicking this. So I'm gonna just go the long way. I'm gonna close out of this. I'm gonna close out of this. Don't need it anymore. Okay. Once you're back at the file manager, go to X64. Or actually, no. Go to App Packages. My bad. And here is your Retro Arc. Click that, click that, and this is RetroArch built. Now, since this build is going to be actually used for Xbox, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go to Dependencies and delete these, because you don't need them. And then I, what I do is I bring it out here, and then I go back. Then I rename this to 198. And there you go. You got RetroArch ready to be uploaded and for all to enjoy. <laughs> Anyways. So I hope you guys uh, can follow along in this tutorial. I hope it helped. And uh, see you guys in the next video. See you later.